usapang politika, ladies and gentlemen. So after um, Senate President Meg Zubiri gets replaced by Senator Chiz Escudero, apparently it happened because it sort of became a coup d'etat within the Senate. And me watching it, I felt sad for Senator Miggs. But at the same time, it is what it is in politics. You know, what he says is true. There are no permanent friends in politics. There's just permanent interests. I'm not gonna give an opinion or share some facts about it because I knew it was bound to happen. Because not only does the Senate have, you know, so many, you know, polarizing views on very, very important issues. I just feel that it would have been better off for Senator Miggs to be saved from all the other headache that he was going to get as Senate president with the issues, again, that is super polarizing that I hope Senator Chiz Escudero could really put a hold on because personally listening to senator cheese talk about certain issues most especially those that i advocate for i find that he is very conservative he really wants to you know do his very best to read upon it to make decisions on it and i really do think that either way the change in leadership within the senate is something that we'll see if it was effective what they did and how they did it as for Mayor Alice Go, who is supposedly being tried as a Chinese spy now, well, when I look at her, they could have they could have found a better spy, I think. Why does she talk like that? Mayor Alice, why do you talk like that? Like pinipilit mo talagang mag Tagalog ni at na iluluwal na po ng bibig mo yung dila mo mi, bakit ganyan? At bakit ka simple, pero million-million naman ang suot mo. At saka yung helicopter and all that. Pero for me kasi, you get a Chinese spy elected into government, but you also get full-blooded Filipinos elected into government, but steal twice as much. So asa naman lang kita, Annie. Because that's, that's how I see things. Na there, is, there is no win for Filipinos in general, for the Filipino people in general, when you get a spy elected in government, but at the same time, you don't get a spy, but you do get a full-blooded Filipino that steals everything. Diba? Like, those people that are still in government, but grabe, kailangan na talagang palitan. So for me, that's why I kept mum on these issues because I'd like to focus on like the fact that finally, finally, the Bagong Pilipinas or Bisho Fair has reached Tawi-Tawi. Tawi-Tawi of all places, ladies and gentlemen. 156 government services brought to the farthest part of the Philippines. That's what we need to be talking about. We need to be discussing, we need to be discussing the fact that when the Congress closed, all of the priority bills and legislation were passed because of the super mega majority that the House Speaker now holds over the Congress. And I hope that the Senate, under the leadership of Senator Chiz Escudero, will achieve the same level of unity for the Filipino people, not for their common interests. Because honestly, we all need to work together. We all need to focus on the president's programs. We need to focus on the DSWD programs that keep on coming out in help or to help the welfare of the Filipino people na naghihirap talaga. Ang sinabi naman din, you know, ni Attorney Larry Gadon, na sinabi niyang haka-haka lang naman ang kahirapan. I, I was shocked when he said that. I'm sure that he has a reason. He has a... He has a you know, he must have the intelligence behind why he said that. But ang sa akin lang kasi, I just don't find it um, palatable when people na naglilimos na sila online. Like, kaya nga siguro masabi talaga na naghihirap, ano yung kahirapan ay haka-haka? Because iba na kasi manlimos ngayon, may Gcash na ipapasend. 
Like, poproblemahin ko pa talaga yung hindi ka nakabayad sa utang mo. Poproblemahin ko pa talaga ang diaper, bigas, at kung ano-ano pa. Na decision mo naman yan, me. Tayong lahat nagihirap. Tayong lahat. We all have different struggles. But I do not remember a time na manlilimos ako para ipapakain ko sa anak ko. And dumaan din ako sa intense level na hirap na ako ang walang makain dahil ginastos ko para makakain yung anak ko. Kaya nga, you know, in a way, I'd like to say na, yeah, asaan ba talaga yung mga naghihirap? Because for sure, the really poor people are not on social media. May pang load ka, may pang TikTok ka, may pang Facebook ka, pero wala kang pambigas. May pang internet ka, tapos sasagutin mo ako na ganito, ganito lang yung niload mo. Find a job. Sell something. ba? Diba? Hindi na mga hassle kayo ng alas dos ng umaga, tatawag-tawagan ako sa Facebook kasi mandilimos. No. No, Mima. And worse, scams exist. Magpo-post ng picture ng isang bata, ganyan-ganyan. Good thing. Good thing. I don't make an effort to raise money for people anymore unless I know them personally or unless I know personally what they are going through. Because right now, para sa akin, it is much better for you to refer anyone you wanna help. I-refer nyo lang po ito sa DSWD because meron naman pong ways of the DSWD to give assistance. Like sa Tingog Centers, may mga mangingi sa akin ng kung ano-ano. Go to the nearest Tingog Center to you para malaman talaga kung totoo ka ba talagang naghihirap. Hindi yung naghihirap-hirapan ka dyan at, at mandidistorbo ka ng mga tao na naghihirap din. Katulad ko. Kaya, parang, ang gets ko naman, I struggle with my family, of course, because at this, it's, it's a new life. You know, I have families to su- families to support because, of course, my employees and their families are my responsibility. Okay, and we decided as a couple, we decided as a couple to really build our life around the fact that we want to be independent from our wealthy families. So, hindi puyan easy to start from scratch, and and then I realized yun nga. Problema sa politika, ganito lang po kaliit. Ganito lang kaliit. Sa napakalaking problema, araw-araw, na kailangan kong tahakin because I may be married, but I'm still a single mom. Okay? I have to also take care of my husband that I had migrate from Cebu to Butuan and just like that. We're starting a life together and it's not easy starting from scratch. Our pride gets in a way because she wants to provide, but I also can provide. So, pino problema namin ang provision that we both can do it, and that's really what I feel blessed about. But what I do not like is that while we, you know, comfortable as we are, we still have to work hard to show our son that we need to make ends meet and make things for our family. But may iba. May message ka lang dito sa TikTok, sa Facebook, mangihingi ng kung ano-ano, me. Again, stop having children you can't afford. Stop. Stop. Okay? Libre lang po ang magpakapon, libre lang po ang mag-birth control. Why don't you do that? ba? Diba? Why don't you just do that? Huwag ka mang hassle ng ibang tao sa desisyon na ginawa mong mag-isa. Okay? Number two, Number two, we help who we can help, but but money don't grow on trees where we live. We do have money, but we're not going to spend it on someone else's welfare when I see that they can probably work because they are able-bodied. Gets? Okay. So that's it for the rundown of politics and real life and what's been going on because as I can see it, Unahin mo muna ang buhay mo, Mi, bago ka problema ng problema ng Pilipinas na hindi mo naman masolve din. Ingat!